Another day has come. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Today, we're going to consider another topic this morning in our morning devotion. Thank God you are alive and God have kept you. God bless you. Wherever you are, I'm happy to share the word of God very briefly this morning with you. And I want you to understand that the peace of God is very important. You need peace of God. You need peace. You need joy. You need happiness. You need everything that God has given. You know, sometimes uh, people begin to think that they are unsaved. They are secure. They are not secured. I want you to know one thing. Don't think of not being secure. Don't be in a state of insecurity. When you woke up in the morning, don't allow the thought of insecurity to take over your life. You just woke up in the morning and find out that you're so afraid. You're so fearful. But the basis of your fear, you cannot fix it. You don't know what you're afraid. You're just afraid and afraid of nothing. Probably you have had some little bad dreams. Or probably you just had some ill experience. You have the thought, you have, you have the thought of, you have the thing, you, have th you are thinking about your past, what happened in the past. And the thing is affecting you physically, affecting you, making your body to the And you woke up in the morning, you are so much afraid. You are so much scared. It's like you don't want to go out today because the kind of feeling, you are feeling a sense that something bad might happen. And I want to tell you this morning to you, nothing bad will happen to you. You say, have that kind of sense of insecurity. You are thinking this morning, oh, I don't know. The way I'm feeling, I'm feeling that something, don't feel like that. Because God does not work with feelings. God is guided by his words. And the word of God I'm going to read for you this morning should guide you, not what you feel. Don't feel bad. It's, ah, I, I felt that I'm not okay. I felt I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I, 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 I'm not okay. They just say, look, please, I don't want anybody to come to me today. I'm not okay. It is your feeling. No, it's a feeling of insecurity. A feeling of insecurity. Or you just I want to go to an interview. And you want to go to an interview or somebody is calling you for something. And you're already thinking that you're not going to make it. You're already having that feeling. I feel something. It's like they're going to disappoint me. It's like they will not help me. It's like they will not assist me. It's like they will not be able to give me what I'm looking for. It's like they're going to give me a, a real disappointment, a showdown. But I want to tell you today, the Lord bless you. God bless you. Father, we thank you today, this morning. Behold, these people that are listening to me right now. I pray that any of trouble, any worry, take what is away from their life. Take what is away from their spirit. Lord, give them confidence and boldness to face the day. In the name of Jesus. I want to read a scripture to you so that I can encourage you to know that you are not alone. Sister, you are not alone. Brother, you are not alone. This morning, I want to let you know. If somebody have ever told you that you are alone, just let me tell you today, you are not alone. You are not alone. You know, one day in life, in those days, uh, yeah, it's an old story, but that thing happened in the northern part of Nigeria. A man was driving, uh, he was riding a motorbike, and it was late in the night. It was late in the night. And uh, he was going home because I think he had some thing that kept him so long. So he was driving home and policemen stopped him. And they asked the man, where are you going? Where are you coming from? At this ungodly hour of the night. And you are coming alone, nobody's with you. The man told them, I am not alone. He said, I, what do you mean you're not alone? He said, I'm here with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And they were so surprised. He said, you mean all these people are in this place? He said, okay, where did you carry them? Where are they? He said, they are in me. So I want to let you know, God is with you. Hallelujah. God with, with you is with you. Don't be afraid. He is there with you. The Bible says he is ever present in the time of trouble. He is ever present in the time of need. Let us look at a scripture. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, a popular scripture that everybody, we use it to sing in the school, we use it to dance in the school. The Bible says, Psalm 20 said, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I want you to understand. Have you ever, have you thought about this? Have you thought about it? Have you thought about how sheep, have you seen sheep worried about what they're going to eat? The worry is on the shepherd. The worry of what the sheep is going to eat is on the shepherd and not the sheep. 
The Bible said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I want worries to die in your life. I want unnecessary tension to die in your life. The Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. A sheep does not worry about what he's going to eat. What he's going to eat is in the hand of the shepherd. It is the shepherd that worries about what the sheep is going to eat. Are you hearing me? So, do not be discouraged. If you walk up on the right side, change your mind and come to the right side. Go today, the Lord is going to bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Because, you see, you see the sheep. The sheep doesn't know where he's going. It's the shepherd that takes them to the where the stream is. The sheep doesn't know where the stream is. Or it's the shepherd that takes them to the water. The sheep doesn't know where the green grass is. It's the shepherd that takes them where there is green grass to eat. Are you hearing me, sister or brother? Do not worry. What happened yesterday is, is a sign that God is going to bless you today. The indication of the pressure or the disappointment you had yesterday is an indication that a new opportunity is coming today. The Lord is your shepherd. God is your protector. God is your provider. God is your provision. God is your yesterday. God is your today. God is your tomorrow. God is everything you need. When he's in you, he's settled. Is there, you know, there's a song we used to sing. I have a joy like a river. Joy like a river. Joy like a river in my soul. You know, you, you have that joy because the Lord is your shepherd. And because you're a sheep, you don't worry about where you're going. The shepherd knows where you're going. He said, the Bible says, he, he, he makes me to lie down in greener pastures. I want to ask you a question. Who took them to the greener pasture? It is the shepherd. Who took them to the greener pasture? It is the shepherd that took them to the greener pasture. He took them to the greener pasture and he made them to lie down. Hallelujah. I don't know where you are. I don't know. Your life could maybe dry yesterday, but today God is going to bring you a, a, a bountiful harvest. Things may have not worked yesterday, but the Lord, the Lord is leading you to a greener pasture. Oh, people may have ridiculed you, lampooned, and lambasted you, telling you you are nothing, you are useless, you cannot. But I want to tell you, hear the preacher this morning, hear me talking to you this morning, the Lord is your shepherd. It is not what they say that matters, it's what God does say that matters. The Bible says, he took me to lie down in green pasture. Where are the green pasture? How do they know this? But it was the shepherd that took them to the green pasture, they lie down. God bless you this morning. Oh, I see somebody listening to someone in picking courage. I, I, I can feel somebody uh, hearing the sound of my voice, getting encouraged. Get up in your discouragements. Be encouraged. The Bible says when David came to the Zikil, I can find out that his family were taken away. His children were gone. The cities were burned with fire. And the Bible says instead of him to sit and begin to cry, eh, eh, the Bible says he encouraged himself. This morning, sister, encourage yourself. You are not dead yet. You are alive. You are not dead. A man said, they were, they were talking to somebody, they said, but you are done. He said, yes, even though I'm done, I'm not out yet. He said, they said, but you are done. Yes, even though I'm done, but I'm not out. Opportunity of rising is still there. The Lord is your shepherd. You should never, the Bible says, He makes you to lie down in green pastures. The question is, who took them to green pastures? And the Bible says, He leaded me beside the sea waters. God will not take you to a troubled water. God will not allow you to go to go to a troubled water. He will not allow you to go to a dry land. He will not allow you to suffer like that. He will not allow you to disappear out of this world without anything. He has prepared a way for you. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. He makes you to lie down in green pastures. He took it. He leads you gently to the still waters. I never seen the shepherd taking their flocks, taking their cows. You see them taking their cows, line by line, to the place of peace, to the place of grace, to the place when he, when the shepherd sense there is danger, the shepherd will stand and make the sheep and the cattle to stop. So the danger will pass. The Bible says he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Oh, hallelujah. Not only does he say he lead me to the busy still water. You know, the, a water that is so peaceful. A place of rest. A place of comfort. A place of a place of goodness. A place of uh, a place where your spirit will be dies. Sister, don't be discouraged. Brother, 
Don't be discouraged. The Bible said David encouraged himself in his God. Think of what God has done that will encourage you. Think of the protection of God that will encourage you. Think of the goodness of the Lord that will encourage you. Think of the peace of God that will encourage you. The Bible says, He is your shepherd. He is your shepherd. You shall not want. The, the, the issue is that because if you go to God in peace, then God will have an opportunity to restore. He will restore to you. Oh, praise God. He will restore to you. Sister, he will restore. Oh, that did not happen yesterday. Last year, it was a disappointment. But I want to let you know, God is making a preparation for your restoration. God is trying to make you to come to some level where he will restore you. And I want to tell you something, sister and brothers, wherever you are, don't let your past fight with your present. Forget about the past. Don't let your past fight with your present. What happened yesterday is a history. Today is your life. Tomorrow is your testimony. Live what happened yesterday. If you allow what happened yesterday to collide with today, your tomorrow may be dim. But allow the past. Apostle Paul said, forgetting the thing that are behind, I pressed forward. As the Bible says, as I fell, I fell yesterday, I let go of the failure of yesterday. And I reached out. Ah, hallelujah. You didn't sell yesterday. This morning you are going to make good business. Oh, yesterday it was like a war in the office. But today people will embrace you. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. He makes you to lie down in green pastures. Sister, do not worry. Do not worry. The Bible said don't worry. God cares for the lily in the valleys. If God can care for the birds, look at the birds that are flying on the air. They don't have farm. They don't have kitchen. They don't have a house to live. But God takes care of them. You are more than a spiral. You are more than a bird. You are more than a bird. I want to let you know, the Lord is with you. The Lord bless you. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He restores my soul and leads me to the path of his righteousness for his name's sake. And I want to let you know, he will lead you to the path. And even though you walk to the valley of the shadow of death, he will do you. Nothing will happen to you. Fire will not burn you. I'll pray for you this morning. Wherever you are, you can put your hand on the television or raise up your hand. I'm going to pray for you. Even though you walk in the valley of the shadow of death, the Lord is with you. Oh, hallelujah. I pray for you this morning. May today be good to you. May today restore back to you. May today be peaceful in your life. May today be glorious in your life. May God be gracious unto you. May God show you kindness. May he give you peace. May he make you to walk and walk and walk in the land of peace, in the land of prosperity. May he take away troubles from your life. May he give you upper hand above your enemies. May what you lay a hand upon today prosper. And may the Lord guide you. And may the Lord bless you. And may the Lord keep you. And may the Lord restore you and bring you back to your home today in peace. God bless you. And God bless you. See you again next time. God bless you. And I